folks, Treasure Turd here, and yes, I am a turdette. Am I going to reveal my face? No, no. I like being a mysterious turd, kind of like Turd of the Opera. I lurk in the shadows, and you may occasionally get a glimpse of something, but you can't quite make it out. Basically like all the Bigfoot photos out there. So anyway, this is my first video, therefore it's probably going to be terrible, but life is for learning. And I'm obviously reading from a script because I would totally screw this up otherwise. So I kept racking my brain trying to think of an idea for a first video, and I, I was drawing a blank. And then one day, well, twas the morning after Taco Tuesday, and I was stranded in the bathroom waiting for the hurricane in my colon to weaken to a tropical storm a little bit, and I was scrolling idly through eBay when I came upon this listing. Now, it was for some kind of, like, crazy Scrooge McDuck estate coin hoard, and I was very intrigued by... Oh, hi, Karen. That's my cat. <sighs> Karen. Dang it, Karen. Why you gotta be like that, Karen? <sighs> yes, you're very pretty. Show the internet how pretty you are. Okay, yes, and you might notice that she only has one eye. That is because she has glaucoma and she had to have her eye removed because the drops weren't working and it was painful for her to keep the eye in. And there's my electrical outlet testers because I just bought a house and sometimes the electricity will go out for no reason. So, <clears throat> at any rate, it was this, like, crazy Scrooge McDuck estate coin hoard. Oh, Karen. No, no. We're, we're... Can you... Can you maybe not? Here. here. Oh. I'm back, and as you can see, there's cat hair all over everything. Oh, at any rate, so it was this crazy Scrooge McDuck estate coin hoard thing, which, you know, I was like, this could be great, or this could be horrible. Um, so that So sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Karen has now been relocated to the director's booth, which is basically um, the spare bedroom with the door shut for a little bit. Uh, so, it... oh dear, now I think the Chihuahua has to pee. Carlos, Carlos, darling, would you like to make your YouTube debut, sir? Hi. He's very camera shy. I think he might have to go potty. I, I will be right back. I swear I'm going to get this video done. I swear. All right, so this is the listing that I've been trying to show you for I'm, I'm not entirely sure how long right now. Um, but as you can see, it sounds very exciting. Silver coins, old uncirculated collection, gold bars, bullion, state of sale, U.S. coin. The exclamation point is really what sells it, let's be honest. Um, and the photo is very nice. It's a stack of silver coins that pretty much any coin collector would want to just jump and, and swim in and just be like, woo, yeah, silver coins. At any rate, um, so you can buy multiple lots of this thing. You can buy one lot at the price of $23.99, buy two, $23.27, etc., etc. The more you buy, the less you pay per lot. Standard order of business. So, I was like, all right, okay, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep reading. And, of course, everybody makes it sound like this is the end-all, be-all of everything. Extremely limited quantity available, although you've sold, like, over a thousand lots. I'm questioning that a little bit. All silver and gold United States coin collection. Because, yeah, silver is so different in other countries. It's not like it's an element or anything. 
So here it's like, you know, we've bought and sold dozens of large coin collections, yada, 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 like, trust us, we love you. And then, and then, and then, and then, and there's old silver coins and gold pieces, and mostly all of the coins here have not been seen or touched in decades. I mean, that's great. They still could have been like, could have been like really worn down during their prime. Doesn't matter if they've sat in a closet for 50 years. Thousands of old uncirculated pre-1964 silver coins, rare type coins, Morgan and Peace dollars, Sea of Liberty, Barber, blah, 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 blah. It all sounds very amazing. Um, not for $23.99. Uh, but it says here, no two lots are the same, and all the coins are guaranteed to be at least 50 plus years old, United States silver coins. To top it all off, oh, there's more. Every lot will include a piece of 0.999 fine certified 24 karat gold bullion. For $23.99? No. These investment worthy lots are a great way to start a collection, invest in your future, or even add to an existing collection. So buy it now while you still can. Okay, the guarantees. Now, the way this makes it sound is these are all guaranteed to be in a lot, which I, well, we'll get to that in a minute. So at least three different 50 plus year old silver coins, at least one vial of gold flakes, at least one brilliant uncirculated pre-1964 U.S. silver coin, at least one rare point. 999 fine Valcombi silver bar. At least one 100 plus year old US silver barber coin. At least one old silver coin featuring the iconic Lady Liberty design. At least three types of silver and gold bullion. At least one canvas bag. Oh my gosh, they're going to put a canvas bag in there? Yo. This is the deal of the century. Like you get all this amazing stuff in a canvas bag. What else could you ask for? So anyway, they're saying, yes, that's right. You will receive everything listed above, making this the largest and absolute best all silver and gold lot on eBay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Please buy all our stuff, yada, 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 yada. Ah, that being said, the reviews were actually relatively positive. Um, they were 99.7% positive, which actually shocked me. However, when I read the positive reviews, um, they weren't exactly um, raving. Uh, they were kind of underwhelming. It was more along the lines of, hey, I gave you money and you sent me stuff. Thanks? Um... So, and seeing all those guarantees, and then getting a little itty bitty envelope like this. There's my hand for scale, and I have small hands, so um, this doesn't look very promising. I mean, you know, it was it was twenty three ninety nine. Um, I had all my bills paid for the month, and so I had a little bit of money left over. And you know, naturally, like most human beings, I decided to do something stupid with it. So we're going to open this up live together. I've not opened this. I have only um, taken my address and information off of it and covered up anything else uh, with the turd sticker. Because remember, turd of the opera, I'm in the shadows. I'm mysterious. All right, so we're going to open this up and see what kind of guarantees we have. This is not OK. All right, it won't be a live opening. I, I need two hands for this, sorry. And I am working with like a really janky iPhone 5S. <laughs> so just bear with me for one moment. All right, so I, I got the top cut off. And so now we're gonna look in here and see what we have. Oh, okay, they came through on one of their promises. There is indeed a canvas bag. Well, hallelujah, I'm leaving positive feedback. All right, let's see what's in here. 
feel kind of weird blindly reaching into a bag, but I have focus. Hello. Oh dear. If I do it like that, okay. Looks like a Merc. It is a Merc. 1936 Merc to be exact. Mm, I'm not seeing a mint mark. And again, my camera doesn't focus. Nope, no mint mark. None at all. All right, next thing out of the bag, it is a Roosevelt dime, 1962, Alexander. Actually quite, quite nice. I'm okay with that. All right, second thing in the bag. Oh, it's a Merc, 1942. Do not see a mint mark. All right, next thing coming out of the bag. Oh, there's a barber. Hello, 1913 barber dime. I don't believe there's a mint mark. I do not have any sort of microscope set up, so um. Can't really do much with this, but I don't believe there's a mint mark. If it is, if there is, it's been worn away completely. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, oh, hello. You are a silver bar. Oh, looky there. And from that weird place that it said it would be from. All right. It's a gram. Okay, okay. All right, I can dig it, I can dig it. And let's see. Uh oh, I feel a vial. It is gold, although it looks like the gold pastry leafing stuff. I, I yeah. Yeah, this looks like I could just bake, like, really opulent cupcakes. Um. Yeah, that's definitely, like, gold leafing from Food Network. Not impressed by that. So. That's it. That is all that is in the bag. Um. Come on, focus. Hello. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. You know you want to focus. All right, so the camera doesn't want to focus. So I guess the best things in here are the Barber Dime and the teeny tiny cute little bar of silver. But, um, yeah, not impressed with the gold. Maybe it is actual gold. I'm not really sure. It could be something left over from a 1980s decoupage project. Not sure, but hey, you know what? The canvas bag is really nice. Really nice. Would I buy this again? Nah, absolutely not. So there you have it. The live opening of the goodie bag that is blurry on the mat. Hey, didn't I tell you this would be a terrible first video? Yep. All right, well, uh, that is everything. I need to take Karen out of the director's booth before she gets upset with me because she's a tortoiseshell calico and they, they do that sort of thing. They hold grudges. So until next time, this is Treasure Turd signing out.